Welcome to another episode of Raven Conversations. I'm Joe C. Mandel, State Public Affairs Officer for the Washington National Guard. And this week, we're helping our friends at the Joint Service Support Family Programs. We're talking about becoming a family readiness group lead. And I'm joined by Amy Durr, uh, Sergeant Major Durr's wife. <laughs> um, she is the battalion FRG lead for 2146 Fuel mm-hmm. Artillery out of Tumwater. And she's here today to talk to you about how she became a volunteer, kind of her roles, and, and how you could also become a volunteer. Thanks for joining us, Amy. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. So uh, real quick, kind of just brief background on yourself. <laughs> so um, I'm a mom, obviously, Army wife. Um, I'm a fourth grade teacher, live down in Vancouver, Washington, um, been with the military with my husband for 32 years, um, volunteering for uh, about 28, give or take. Um, Anything else? I think that's yeah. about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Perfect, okay. I've perfect. got three kids. Um, military family. My uh, old, my youngest son, his wife is in the Air Force. Our oldest son did Coast Guard for, for a stint, and uh, so, yeah. So how did you get into being a, a volunteer in the Guard? Wow. Um, I honestly I don't know. <laughs> um, so when years and years and years ago, I'm a, I'm I believe it was he was in um, his, the unit he was in. They were just looking for volunteers, and I. Somebody had said um, that they're, the soldiers are only there as long as they feel welcome and that their spouses and families feel welcome. And so that was kind of my my in, my going in was like, well, I want him to get his full experience out of this. So I'm going to do what I can do to support that. Yeah. And when he enlisted, we enlisted together. Um, it was a joint decision for him to enlist. And so um, I felt, okay, if he's doing his part, I need to do my part. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. So as a battalion lead, kind of what's your roles and responsibilities? I'm assuming you kind of help with the the mm-hmm. batteries, uh, FRGs as well. Yes. Yeah. So as the battalion, um, yeah, pretty much I oversee the battery, the different battery FRGs. Um, currently, um, because we're out at the Tumwater Readiness Center, so all the batteries are there. So what we've done this time is we just have one battalion FRG, and then we just support the batteries through that. Um, in the past, when I was the battalion FRG, each battery had their own FRG, and so my role there was to set up the FRGs with each battery mm-hmm. and then support them as needed and then also be um, the commander's voice and, and uh, aid in how can he support the families and the batteries yeah. and, and shout out to steve beecroft commander of 246 <laughs> fuel artillery love steve uh but uh so yeah. so when you're on a drill weekend what does that look like for you as an frg lead are you there are you supporting like what's that kind of look like it depends on the weekend honestly um so home station drills we um are just starting back and doing um snacks cafe drills where we would provide a lunch or food for them um sometimes i'm i usually just pop up if there's not a lot for us to really do, if we don't have anything planned, I'll pop up and just be there, mm-hmm. just be a face and, and connect with the soldiers and any families that show up. Yeah. Um, if they're going out to the field, we do um, hot meals on the Friday night when they're showing up. Sometimes we'll do a hot meal. Sometimes it's a sack lunch, a grab and go, so they've got something to eat on the bus. So Because a lot of them are coming straight from work, so they're grabbing McDonald's or you know not necessarily healthy, and they're spending more. So mm-hmm. we try to give them a healthy meal, inexpensive, and then they've got something out there. If they're out in the field, um, we also will go out to Yakima. And we'll provide um, snacks and food and things like that for them. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, I mean, when you think about volunteering, you're always giving something back to the the service members, the units. But you always kind of get something in return. What's that thing you get in return, (laughs) having done it for so long? I would say family. Um, They are my family, um, which is a lot of the reason why I'm back at the two of the one four six, even though my husband's not. Um, they're, they're my guys. Um, being part of the battalion for so long, for 27, 28 years, um, a lot of these, sold, the soldiers were in Bravo Battery, still are in Bravo Battery when I was the FRG there. And so um, their wives and the soldiers, their family, they're my guys. And when I heard that there wasn't an FRG, I was like, no, I can't leave my guys hanging. And so I came back. But yeah, it's family and it's that connection. Yeah, no, that's yeah. incredible. So you, you mentioned family, and, and I <laughs> look, you know, watching this video right now, maybe there's a, a spouse, a brother, mm-hmm. sister, mom, dad, somebody, an adult right. child, and and their guardsmen, their their son, daughter, 
husband is sitting there saying, hey, we don't have an FRG lead at our unit. How did they get involved? How do they make that next step to become um, an FRG? Good question. Um, talk to the commander. Uh, go to the commander and say, hey, you know, I want to volunteer. If it's something that you're just drawn to, just go to the commander. Um, say, how do I how do I do this? Um, every region has a FERSA, a Family Readiness Support Assistant, mm-hmm. and they're the ones then that can um, help with the paperwork and get you get you started. Um, that that's what what I would say. Just reach out to the commander, the first sergeant of the bat- of the battery, and just say, what can I do? Yeah. Where is there a need that you need to be filled? What can I do? Yeah. Anything yeah. else you want to add? Um, no. Well, we take everybody, civilian, family member. Um, so we're there for the soldiers and the families. So anybody that has a heart for uh, soldiers, we'll take them. Yeah. No. Thanks yeah. for coming. Thanks. It, and uh, we'll put the information in the notes about how to become an FRG lead. Uh, Lauren over at JSS can help you out. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a like, a subscribe, and comment. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for coming.